was watching the Fnatic Na'Vi game last night and it did get very close and the desk has set the scene perfectly for this because Tabson looks spicy in his game against DG. Crims is waiting for him, so that's the headshot Crims has been waiting for and he doesn't get a chance. Tabson too quick. Lots of info. Tabson with connect control, Keto with sewer control. I know it's going to uh -oh. be towards A and Sirison uh -oh. just knocks them down easy as you like. Two pins hit the deck. Young Jakino decide the round's not done. They're kind of locked in though, right? With all that early info, Kido's also pushed up through the connected position. The bomb down towards upper bathroom's gate now, Oof. floating around with Tizzy and deeper onto the bomb side. I feel like Jakino's got a bit of a timer on this. Kito could catch him, but he walks Gade's through the toilet. Gade's man. looking away as well, averts his gaze. Mezzi on long quietly and now loudly is Jakino. Looking to sweep and clear. Tizian could catch him any time, but Jakino oh, does wrap around. Okay. A good tap into the head of Gabe. No! Oh, he spotted another. They're turning it around. Two versus four becomes two versus one. Mezzi and Jakino, a pair of frags apiece, charging to the B bomb site. Tizian to receive. He has got a kill. But will he contest the plant? Oh, he's committed. Actively fighting. They should whistle away. And three from Giacchino. Quite the turnaround from Fnatic. Oof, Tizzy in there with that maneuver, right? That's an all-in. He cannot get away. You can see just how far he put himself on that ledge, banking to hit both of those shots. Was it wasn't he like a jiggle. Was he they weren't coming together? Like he gets that 1v1 and taps the first? I think he's just hoping he hits a couple of nice shots there. Because yeah. if you're going to go for that maneuver, it's a uh, very high risk. I mean, look how this started, Chad. I'm really impressed they called this back. So they had all the info. I don't know where it went wrong. I think Gade had a, had a hard time kind of piecing it all together. Because with Keto over towards Balloons and Party, I think they assumed right. that Bathrooms was clear. And that's how it got a little bit juicier than it should have. But they still had the sound cue. So I'm not sure. Big really let that one slip. Well managed by Fnatic. And both teams with the buys. The Force for Big. The Gunny for Fnatic. And well, they've actually rocked two UMPs. That's quite curious. Hmm. I suppose it does have a little bit more of a viable place against Kevlar. Fully kevlar and helmeted up it's defensive big clan members. Yeah, they've gone for uh, utility with their deagles here. So only one Tabson prioritizing the head armor with the P250. So who's caging the B push for info? No one is. They're kind of just all inning. This uh, is all right, though. They're, they're going to have three players over towards this site here if they get a move on with HEs. Tizzy and Gade and Keto could all try and deny the plan towards default. This could be the move from Big. Oh, they're ahead oh, of it. Oh, and Brolin's already gone down. There's so many bodies on the side. Crims just unloads his mag. Alex has got a lot to do. Back turned, good find, and pressure relieved. It did for a second get a little scary there as the P250 found the head of Brolin. But everything can calm down and Fnatic locking themselves in that 2-0 conversion. Oh, okay. I, I thought they had something different in mind there, Big. So looking more desperate as the execute came in. Didn't use their smokes to try and abscond the front of the site, and oh, they were just beaten down into submission for round number two. Well handled here by Fnatic, and one of the keys the desk was touching on there was obviously uh, Jackinho's performance yesterday. He, of the group, was the lowest performing player after day one. Now, there's a couple of things that can play into that. Nice shot from Sirius. Nerves being one of them. Uh, I would say the other being the fact you had to go up against Simple on the other side as the primary wall, but that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that is a big deal. And also in that game, uh, now they clearly have decided Overpass is their map uh, in their initial scrims and whatever. This has become the uh, focus of their attention. And the fact that they managed to go double overtime, heartbreaking loss on their map pickup against the world number one, that it's, it demonstrates uh, competence on this map that I'm excited to see how it translates up against a different opponent. Well, that's the thing, right? This Fnatic roster, in theory, can be competitive, right? Brolin and Crims, two names from Fnatic who you know, at least once upon a time, if they could just find that form, can be very deadly individuals. You mix that in with Mezzi, who seems like after yesterday's games, he's here to hang with the big boys. Jackinho is the more unknown, untested factor. And Alex here, well, after the Cloud9 project, I think there's a lot of question marks, but showing that his style, it still works. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think I'd go for unproven. Jackinho's still got some, uh, some, something to prove. Yeah, because when he was picked up, he, he never really had an opportunity to fulfill his role with the overlap with JW, right? So you never saw the best of him on the big green, and now he has all that pressure on his shoulders. So today, he cannot have another performance like yesterday yeah. with Sirison on the other side of the server. I mean, he got 3K on the pistol. I mean, that's already a fantastic start. Let's see if he can maintain that uh, comfort. Thorough stuff here from Fnatic. So it looks like they are headed for a B play. The bomb slinking back through Fountain now. And you're going to see the jump accuracy here of Tizian on the MAC-10. Oh, a couple of little oh! 
leaps and a frag. Look at that. The <laughs> third one. I didn't think he'd go again. Uh, Two's normally brave. enough. Yeah, and he even strafed right so as to try and be a dynamic target. Pops the head out of Alex. And he feels a little hard done by there, I'm sure. Oh, Great a flash. perfect re-aggression out of Big Clan. This is threatening now, very big way. They're going to have to claw back the multi-kill. It is Mezzi that delivers it on a silver platter. And now poor Searson, what are you supposed to do? He'd love Giacchino. He's softened up for the one-shot scout shot. And they can plant within the smoke and be relatively uncontested. Keto's crawling towards that short water smoke. And at 20 seconds, the bomb now down. He's going to save it, I think. Yeah, they might have to. He's just found an AK, so he's just going to completely elope. Yeah. Well, that one was another round that looked threatening, right? Big in the previous. I thought they had a, a cool idea with their HEs. They didn't use it in the way that I thought. This round, they had the players ready and ready to defend. But after they popped out, cleared short, got flustered into that monster fight, and, well, ran into the vice that was those Fnatic rifles. Tag there on the way out the door. But Jaquinho, the man in question, it's another frag. Two know, for him in this round. I'm, I've definitely made no secret of being a founding member of the Mezzi fan club. Big fan of him and his kooky controls, the Union Jack, and just seeing an actual British talent pushing and being an individual that can compete at the highest level. We've, it's been a while, obviously, Smoo Dog. It's been a, a long while, really. Probably the closest we've come. Yeah, his was a very short stint. Very short it? stint. I mean, I, I still very fondly remember the Smooya chance in Wembley. That was the closest I got to feeling like UK Counter-Strike was relevant. But it's good to see Mezzi once again delivering. And delivering in the Fnatic jersey, bro, that's such a drip. Two Union Jacks flying in Fnatic's Counter-Strike like team. Like a Call of Duty it's, team or something. It, yeah, it, it's blowing my mind. Like, it's like, what, mobile PUBG or something? <laughs> like, what, what's going on? Some console game. All right, well, they're setting up a bit of a B-piece right here as Alex and the boys. Brolin pushing the back over towards A. Sirius and the tabs and get a little... Careful now, Brolin. He's got a bit of pep in his step, and they're boosting over the smoke, but he's already slipped through if he walks into this. He's, I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you walk into oh, this? He might system. catch them here. He might catch them here. This is huge. Oh, Brolin. Brolin, you're blocked. Surely he pieces it together. Surely he won't. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, alligator. Big clan pants by Brolin. Call this one done. Call it four. They're boosting over the smoke. It's a chance to deny. Or not even, actually. The smoke's too deep. Uh, and now walking through the smoke is Alex. Grimms has caught one. There's another to find. Alex on the hunt. He's looking the wrong way, but he might still find him. Yep. Peekaboo. Wow. Uh, Brolin, uh, just do that every round, mate. If you could, just kill two people with their knives out. I feel like Big are going to go have to solve the uh, mystery of the appearing Brolin there. It's a magical act. You can catch this one. Is it just a bit late, right? Like, they just posted up Sears. I think they were faffing around. Yeah, I, well, he just walked under the lip of the smoke as well. So this was just perfectly done by Brolin. Not expecting the profit in that way whatsoever. Now out here for a bit of a luck. show early. This is uh, nice stuff out of Fnatic here. Really setting the tone. Got the AWP again in place. Sirius, and we'll have to find some impact with this at some point. Yeah, it's been avoided quite well but for now uh, by Fnatic. And this time, good chunks out of those initial nades. Your standard toilet control. I love, actually, you know what? I really enjoyed the banana call out. It's banana now. You like banana? You like I'm it, saying yeah. it with conviction. Okay. You know, it's not confusing. We know we're not on Inferno. We can have two bananas, right? Yeah. Why not? We got a whole bunch. We got a lot of two. We got longs and ramps. Yeah, and precisely. And a banana just. It, I'm just sick of saying some toilet action. It just always sounds just a little off. It's like at a nightclub. Yeah, precisely. No spray, no lay. No Armani, no... Ouch. Keto onto Alex. Has wrapped, found himself an AK-47 to fly his trade. And Brolin is still advancing long. They don't have to commit to this, but with three Fnatic members there around that 60-second mark, and Keto now equipped with the Kalashnikov mess. He's got a lot to do. He's met the AK as well. Keto. Pulling Big Clan, kicking and screaming into a competitive fifth round. They've had a couple like this where it's looked promising, but then at the final hurdle, Big yeah. either just run in and get executed or they make the wrong read. So right here, looks like more of the latter. Evacuating <laughs> oh, over towards no. the B bomb site, and the attack is coming in towards A. So Big are just reading this game completely wrong right now. They are, but I mean, Gate's going to get info and a bullet to the thigh. He gets away, back tucked into bank. Keto will have a chance to react. Oh, wow. Oh, he reacted. Ooh. Not happy with how that one went. Here we go. That's a big denial out of Gade. If he can find another, which he has, he can take the whole <laughs> round. Gade and Keto with their powers combined. 
do snatch away the round from Fnatic's clutches. Well, there you go. That is uh, probably the best round that Gade has had in big so far. Uh, we did his games yesterday. He was there. But uh, you, you wouldn't have known about it. Here, steps up in a huge way, secures there first. And I really can't stand my back hurting anymore. Chad so. Burchill has fully mantled the desk, and we are in to an aggressive one from Searson. He's been desperate to try and find early impacts, and it's actually Keto's spray that's left a very early impact. Messi's going to lose all of his Bibblies and Bobblies there. That's Nades, AK, gone. Alex, very brave. He could lose the round right here if he's not careful. Oh, Molly he's missed. missed his Molly. And they're so low. Call the cancel. Oh, Chikino's dead as well. Yeah, this spells trouble. This looks like a big clan conversion. The HP really not going to be uh, making life easier for Alex and Brolin. Do you want to just go for that 75 second save, boys? Uh, I feel like it's probably the better of the calls here, but... Ugh. Yeah, they can't buy in the next round, right? Their, so... their money's not going to be there. If you hold on to these three rifles, the lost bonus comes into the bank balance of Jackinia and Mezzi, and then maybe they can scrap some Galils together. You already have some utility left over, but they're not done. And while well, that is not the type of Counter-Strike we are used to here, so let's see. Can they turn this one up a notch? Alex for a little bit of a lurky boy play. And the Swedes paired up over towards A. That's it, Alex. This is what he's been waiting for. He's pulled, or his teammates have pulled those CTs into a more passive position. They're not ready for this. They're not ready. Oh. Tizian's just way too quick. And the util they've dumped on A, not as convincing anymore. The departure of Alex will incite the rest to save. So it'll be two AK-47s. Yeah, 1,900 in the next round, right? So Alex will have 4K. He'll be able to buy. Mezzi just going to be under that mark. Can't get the AK or the Galil out with utility. And then the real question mark is Jack Inyo. Now, he can just operate with a Deagle or something if they would like, maybe even a Scout. But regardless, the saved AKs of Brolin and Crims will give them another bite of the cherry here. And good stuff, just finding that opening presence here. Seriously made a weird tweet yesterday. I had to reread it. I was rereading it to you this morning. I interpreted it completely wrong yesterday. I interpreted it yesterday after reading it that he had lent his router and then he was playing on wireless internet. But it's actually the other way. He's borrowed one of his friend's 5G routers. For so, what? So, well, now his webcam works because I think his internet at home as a professional Counter-Strike player is so trash that that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Wow, trousers, trousers, aggression's the answer for Big Clan, isn't it? That's again, worked out wonderfully for the first and an aggressive ang taken by the Big Clan Orpa. Could still be fed a frag here. Alex and the Fnatic project looking to take control of B Water. Oh, they know it's definitely they B love Tabs these aggression. pushing further. Yeah. Big Clan's CT aggressions have been rewarded so far, and Alex again falls flat of the mark. A good retrade, actually. Wallbang from Jakino. If Gabe continues this peak, it's actually very promising. This is going to be a competitive overpass. Big Clan have made that abundantly clear. Yeah, picking up steam now. Mezzi and Crims. Good luck, have fun, boys. It's going to be hard. Yeah. And just peeking in dry. Lovely angle held by Tizian. He's ready for another as well. He'll finish it on his own. And the longevity of Tizian is something that's worth addressing as well. Like, I mean, I remember when he was truly... You mean just the fact he's still on the team? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, Far I mean, up. don't forget, like, Tizian, I think, from in most people's eyes, a couple of years ago, was seen as, like, not a weak link, but a support player. It was just a hardcore support hardcore player. Hardcore support. Yeah. But that's not really how I categorize him anymore. Like, he has found a, de a, a degree of consistency in the fragging charts. He was one of their best players in that crazy underdog run at Cologne. I just remember, like, sometimes we have one of these pop-off pop performances yes. where he would drop, like, 25 or 30 kills in a bit of a statement game, and then other times he would just be there getting his one or two kills when he needs it, right? And Precisely. that's what you want. You don't, not everybody has to be the uh, showstopper type player. Yeah. Just you need to get the kills you set up for. You couldn't just have a movie where everyone was Tom Cruise. I think they tried that. It's called the, uh, what, the, 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 the no. Um, Depeche Mode? <laughs> I wanted to say the Dependables, but that's not it. <laughs> oh, the Expendables. That's the one. Where it's all of the action stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham. There's a lot of them. I can't think of anyone else. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was That's in there. That's a good one. Um, oh, what about Van Damme? Was he in there? I think so. I think really? he probably made an appearance. Jesus. Um, Any other badasses yeah, from Yeah, who's the guy cinema? from Die Hard? Oh, oh, well, Bruce Willis. Yeah, Bruce Willis was in there. Jesus, it wasn't stacked. Yeah, they just... And did it suck? So, you can't, so maybe we can use this analogy for the, 
super, five superstars well, on the team. It delivered in terms of watching a lot of things blow up. Yeah, and a lot of big men beating people up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I signed up for that's when I watched that, that, that film. That was what I was born and raised on. It wasn't memorable. No. Nah. I don't even remember the name of the film. I thought it was The Dependables. That's How like, did I get The Dependables? Yeah, you asked me to give you the Chronicles of Riddick storyline. I can't, but I can tell you I enjoyed it. It's a good film. Yeah. Okay, well, the gun's back out here. We've gotten past Citizen. those pesky pistols. I can't believe he's sticking around party. I'd get really anxious about now. Yeah. Just as they advance the playground, he has conceded that walk-up. He could go down any it's minute now. big gap here, yeah. Still uh, not it. even considered. I think the fact that he just was in such an open, risky position, Alex was not ready for that by any means. And now Sirius is not ready for this. Flashed out, oh. finds a second with the third. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's so good. How many team flashes? How many flashes from Big Clan have set up a frag? Like, they've got two on short as well. mezzi has been blinded every time he's gone down. I think, see, like, the stats would point towards a very, very convincing Big Clan mid-round aggression. Searson's just set up consistently as well. Yeah, so so far, uh, Keto has eight effective flashes. Uh, Tabson has six. We're in round 10. <laughs> yeah, in, in terms of the way that Valve... Look, them. I, I don't I don't know, right? It's always a little bit sketch with the in-game stuff. I like looking at HLTVs in terms of the flash assist for that. But what I will say, that's fair, and I agree. But what the effective flashes will do is it's like anyone's touch, like anyone's screen went white for a millisecond on, in Valve's world, world is a flash assist. Yeah. Strong. So we'll see, of course, by pushing it into overtime. We'll get to see more of that. Look at this aggression again. They're they really it. not scared. So it kind of feels to me like the game plan at the moment is not giving Fnatic room that they would be expecting to get. Really making them work for those little inches of the map. But we're going fast on towards B again. And Gabe, he's not going to get anything done. Tizian, he gets one. And this is going wrong. Yeah, this is not looking great. The bomb should get planted here. Keto annoying. Tabson better. Oh, that's just ended. In the blink of an eye as the rifles connect. Nearly getting that bomb site control to get that plant down. Regardless, they'll have the buy. Oof, yeah, Max lost bonus in play. Started for Chikino, do we get that T side orb? Go on, he's flirting with the idea. Probably so necessary with the way Sirius is playing, right? Bingo. Uh, you gotta consider if they're just allowing Sirius to have so much room and Tabson to be going aggressive every single time, you just post up that AWP of Jackinho to either watch that long push or try and deal with the push up towards balloons and shut them out. Did he have the glasses on yesterday? No, he didn't. All right, well, maybe that's the difference maker yeah, today. He put the webcam on, he was like, oh, I want to look good. Now I can't see my screen. Yeah, maybe he had contacts in. Ah, all right. Wise guy. Sisson really is just taking the piss. It's very jarring though, right? Like yeah, he's going to get one. Oh, okay, they've advanced enough and forced him off. If you're not going to use your utility like to punish the Orpo, you know, that smoke, that molly combo, with the flash, okay, you can see how much that denies. And now they're going for one of these creepy beaky plays again. This time, Tabson looks aware. Oh man, Crims is going to get tested oh. here. This is a powerful boost, and it will catch Crims on his flight path. Is he a wise man? He's clearing it. Oh. Does convert. Nice. Good awareness. Very good. Searson, however, in the meantime, caught the tip of the spear on toilets. And Tabson actually re-aggressing. God, Big Clan have got some serious. Momentum to this defense. They're like not they, afraid. They're taking all this space right oh, back in the shop that? as well. Tabson's not crims for six. Problems now for the boys of Fnatic. I can't call them the Swedes anymore. What do I call them? Fnatic, I guess. Yeah, that works. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Stick with that. Well, uh, Tabson's actually lost them here. They could go back down through Connector to hit this B bomb site, which is currently being held in a retake position from Gage, so they're foregoing B control, but never mind. Into Sirius and Zorb, he is too good, too mobile. Where are you meant to track these big players? They're just moving around and destroying you pick at a time. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, Fnatic did, got more respect out of Na'Vi's defense than Big Clan are giving them. They're not giving them anything. <laughs> Nothing. They're just constantly moving around. Like, one of the things that you do on a default on a map like Overpass is you want to systematically just push the CTs back because there are so many jarring fights that you can take, yeah. right? From Divider, from a bit more forward in the bathrooms, up from Party. You can go aggressive Fountain, picking Long, passive Long, this in the site, jump. There's so many spots. So what, let's, let's keep track of it today. Or today. How about next round? Like, let's just keep track of it and keep taking notes of where those aggressions and infos coming from because, I mean, this is a prime example of it. You don't see a CT solo pushing toilets at 45 seconds often, but what he's doing there is he's completely, whatever page of the strat book Alex was trying to turn. So Keita, the new coach of Fnatic's just chipped on in. Good to see him in the black and orange. 
And he's good to see him with the team as well. So see how quick the boot camp can bring this Fnatic team to where they need to be. That's a better start. They've been able to open the account. No more aggressive maneuvers from Tabson now. Denied. Yeah, but watch Searson's aggression be rewarded again. He's got a lovely little gap. Crims is, however, very wise. He's played this game a long time, and oh, he does How's he done that? The and leg? Searson technically did pull the trigger first, but yeah, Crims has got his steel toe caps on, but he's not an AWPer, and he proves that as Gade will be. execute him. Now, only Gade really with a voice in this round. Watch him get a rude shock. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hi, Dr. Nick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Simpsons. Still going. I can't believe it. Yeah, and that, it's so iconic, dude. The, um, you know what I watched the other day? I was like, I looked up the top Simpson episode list. Marge's monorail. Rewatched that one. Absolute banger. It's such a great one. It's I got a so, shirt with the, the actually, monorail guy. Yeah, you do. it's such a, it's such a great show. Well, episode. Yeah. The show. Of, I, we've lost them. Strongly recommend checking out some of the legacy episodes. The Treehouse of Horrors as well. Some of the old Treehouse of Horrors are legendary. Really enjoy them. I remember waiting for 6 p.m. Before or after Robot Wars, I'd get to watch okay, Simpsons. Okay, your Simpsons on okay. 6 p.m. Right. on a Friday. All right. See, your stuff, I guess it didn't matter. It was all pre-recorded pre, pre, anyway. Pre-Watershed. Yeah, for us, I don't know. I think Simpsons came up. It was either after Home and Away and before Neighbours or the other way around. <laughs> you know? the, those are the two <laughs> imports. We had both of those at our TVs. Home and Away and Neighbours. When neighbors become good friends. I'm trying to think which uh, other fantastic Australian show. I know that people love watching our Border Patrol show just because how do. harsh it is. I watch that all the time. <laughs> We're so harsh. And it's always that one woman who's <laughs> opened the suitcase. She's just got loads of ramen packets. <laughs> what, what, what's your intentions with this ramen, young lady? Now, Searson swallowed a nade, but he's still trying it, Chad. We've been talking about this. He's trying to condition, trying to take some liberties, and the nade looks... Relatively good. One hey. was good. Big chunks out of them all over the map. Alex has been sprayed down to 20 HP as well from the Monster Tunnel, and I already feel like they've been put in a cage by the CT setup. Look at this. Three-man aggressive, long and party. They're going to get a very rude shock, Chad, when they turn these corners. Ooh, Searson did this time. His aggressive maneuver has been punished, but I'm afraid Keto's aggressive maneuver's better. Brolin keeps it level. Double push out of there from Keto. Taps in to fill the hole, and they are even... Dude, they're taking Monster right back. Yeah, What's going on? Yeah, Big have really shown up today, this is wanting cool. a fight. There is huge gaps right now, so it's really going to depend on where Fnatic maneuver, but they don't know that this aggressive plays come in. Hmm. Why does it feel like a Tabson double every day of the week? He has he's a silence step for two. He's going to catch a timing here. Like as they're progressing toilets, oh, he has caught a perfect timing. He's got the game sense tuned to perfection. And as he turns he's the corner, both. he's got a round winner on his plate. Oh, oh yo, yo, couldn't quite finish dessert. Messi lives on. Well, A's <laughs> open right now. Crims is heading back towards B. That's where the low HP of Gade is. And Gade, you need to stop moving oh. right now. Oh. Looks the wrong way, averts his gaze, and it's all on to Tizian. Crims to take the space back and rotates on its way. Tizian does have the slight health advantage. He'd need a first immediately, and the bodyguard yet to reveal himself. Mezzi does get the bomb down. They could line up for him. Careful now, you know where he is. Playing around ABC. He's giving it all he's got. Makes sense, they've got so much money. Everyone's blind. No reason not to go for it. And a great recovery out of Fnatic. Considering how that started, Brolin did an awful lot. Mezzi, the fact he doesn't go down to Tabson. I had to find that frag quick. We might see it in the replay. See how quickly Mezzi had to piece that one together. Yeah, Tabson's going to feel like he's lost the round right there with that one. Seriously, he's getting punished more and more so. A, d a nice double there from Pito. Should have been the double here from Tabson. You can just see that the quick little dink and not finishing off with that second bullet. Very close. I mean, yeah. that's some revenge from Fnatic considering all of that aggression from Big Clats. The first time we've seen it not work. Bigger playing right now, like W gamers, right? Just holding that W. Like, obviously not just running. There's, there's a method to their madness, but they're not allowing Fnatic to have that room. And while well, they're coming out on top of it at this point, I think they're happy to just sit and wait and allow those frags to come their way. Fanned out again, Mezzi towards B, Crims Connector, Alex Brolin and Jaquinho working on this A control. And finally, Big have had no choice. They've said, well, we're giving too many casualties up. We're not winning out these mid-rounds the way we should. Let's play passive. Searson tucked in 
deep towards long. Taps and jump peeking from the dice boxes. I know you say passive, but Gade being standing on top of the sandbag, it's, it's not the most passive I've seen. He's got uh, a friend. A CT. He's got a friend Look with at that him. angle, though. Wow. <clears throat> Crimson is project in the underpass. It's so far, I think he's been doing a fantastic job. He's caught Searson in that duel. It's not a fun role necessarily. You've got a lot of responsibility for your life. Searson, he's re-aggressing. He has the support of Tabson and Tizzy in the Big Clan setup is rather forward here on Banana, but flashing through. Alex converts. He even anticipates another good damage into Tabson, hiding around the smoke. Goal, but he revenge strikes with a double. And that will channel them straight back to the B bomb site. So far, it's undermanned. If they're quick about this, Chikino back on that T side AWP, I should highlight. And Gay's got that just late. in the nick of time. Crim's trying to disrespect oh. it. Keto laughs it off. Oh, and Chikino, no time for this, mate. Yeah, they had the timing right there. The smoke would have bloomed as they were both crossing into the site, but they didn't realize how clear the runway could have been. I know Gay had just tucked in in time, but still could have been some fights that. Fnatic could have won. We'll call that eight. We'll call that the half the big right now. And just great trading back and forth. Alex's double was great. Tabson's was a necessity here for big. And then in the late round, just big. Some nice shots off of Pedo here. This was, oh, wow. Alex could not have had a better job with that first kill. Susan literally putting his head in front of the crosshair. So big fan in our, what is it? 14 rounds of play have had 11 multi-kill rounds. Okay. <laughs> So their individuals are uh, Every individual doing quite has well. at least had one multi-kill. And there's another one for Keto. <clears throat> Sirson, he really wants to demand control of Fountain. It's a large amount of map control to want to take away and flashed off. Alex spots him out. They know Sirson's up to his usual antics and that will send him... Oh! Hacking Crims. Doesn't even matter if it's the AWP or the Deagle. Sirson still got your number. Yeah, really tried to bail his teammates out there. Crims, Jackinho will be the one to do there it. Tapson go. falls, and now a bit of momentum over towards that A side if they'd like. Mezzi still over towards B, so I don't think we're going to see Fnatic operate too quickly here, but a car crash towards Short is on the card. Tizzy and Spam on through. He's alive, but Mezzi gets baited oh, in. Oh, baited in so hard. He heard that M4 mag empty, and his eyes were just bloodlusting towards that left side. What can Alex do now? Uh, he could do a lot. He's got a gap. He's patrolling it nicely. If Searson takes a cursory glance prior to... Oh, he's been spotted. Very much spotted. And continuing his walk-up is brave. Keto laughs at him. 2v4 now for Fnatic. Uh, end this half on a high. It looks like Big Clan's nine. The only one man to change my mind. Giacchino. Up against four of the German squad. Baits him in. Knows where Searson is. It's a two-man setup. He knows Bin's a problem. Possibility. Turns the flash. And that's the end of that. In the first half, let's see what this attack can bring. Now, they have a lot of utility. Three players have invested into some form of a grenade here. A bunch of flashes. Ooh. This is a five-man, uh, sorry, a four-man B stack, which is very standard on a CT side B player. And they're having a crawl on in. Mezzi wants a look and look. hi, everybody. I'm not really going to want to take another. Get the hell out of there. They've got themselves the opening kill. One and run. It's a good... Uh, methodology to play by. So some of that utility has been used. Most of it is still to come. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Shaquina, if that door opens. Yes, that's the click he wanted. Oh, perfect. Baited into perfection. Searson's a problem for them, though. How has he just got his head on a swivel like that? And he's only gone and made it three. Jaquino recovers for the boys. A triple kill out of him, looking much more consistent than we saw out of him yesterday. Less pressure, perhaps, on the shoulders. A good team talk with the Fnatic boys. Tizian trying to fake out with a smoke towards the A site. Making the steps, really trying to convince them here, and maybe even just full committing. Brolin's alone. Has to win this fight. He does. He's got the Glock, so movement's his best friend here, and surely a fake. No, he's actually holding it. Brolin should have him here. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, he actually stopped the plant. I assume that went down. It must have been a millisecond, in it? Almost got the respect there to get that bomb down. Nine to seven, a Fnatic with both pistols here within this match. So that's a huge step in the right direction, especially when it comes to your map choice. Now, we were talking about how the defense yesterday against Na'Vi was pretty strong. Let's see how strong it can be. It will be tested immediately. 
My four deagles and a scout. Wow, They've the gone. five SMG oh, strap. I don't love it. I've never seen it like... I don't, especially on a map like Overpass, I don't love it. <laughs> okay. If they don't go B, I hate it. Yeah, we'll see how this one shapes up. It could go very wrong. A couple of deagle mid-range headshots and it gets awkward. Maybe they haven't had a chance to talk through their anti ecos yet. Let's wait and see how this one pans out before I get too pessimistic, Can and we... then I'll tell you why after the fact. Oh, yeah, that's a deagle, and it favors the deagle at that range. Shikino will drop his smoke. Chad prepares to feel hard done by, and I think Tizian will as well. Two nades thrown through the smoke at his location. He's got 10 HP left. It has kept them busy, Jakino's smoke. He needs to value his life here. And he needs to stay as a member on the board right now. Seriously, so trying to pressure long. And if they just stay tucked in the site, the crossfires of the SMGs is what can bail them out of this dangerous situation they found themselves in. But if they start wandering, they don't convert. Oh, that's where the conversation comes in. But they do convert, and crisis should be averted right here. Lovely flash out of Mezzi. One to test the water is Keto. Oh dear, that Deagle has found its mark, and if they find another in quick succession, Rollins so low, but he's a real problem child for them. Finally, they'll shut him down, and this one should just peter out. Alex confirms that it will not be a problem. Fnatic, well, they deal with the anti-force buy, and they should have a couple of people able to pick up something that's not an SMG. Well, right now, you know it is going to be the full eco yeah. in the next round of play, so even if you wanted to have one player now just operate with a USP, that's fine. Uh, they can be pretty honest with their upgrades here, but some of the problems with going five SMGs, and almost five SMGs uh, on a lot of maps is, especially long range maps, you can see that they don't have the favor in the certain fights, right? Those deagles, if they're able to get the space they're looking for, they catch you moving between position to position. That's when you can really get rinsed. But over towards B, well, it works perfectly. Alex and Brolin showing you the tight corners without the head armor and how juicy these SMGs Look, that yeah. is some tasty stuff. Rollins farming, dude. Like, I think he actually dropped that M4 for Mezzi. Hooked him up. Just to returning to the SMG and farming a little extra cash as well. So he's really farmed over these last two rounds. He's got another 4,500 in the bank account as well. Bonus scenario here. Yeah. Now, we saw Alex charging towards that short pipe. I wouldn't hate seeing a, another taste of aggression again. Yeah, they, they have a couple of moves they could go for here. Jackie has brought out the AWP, which might want uh, them to play a little bit more passive. And Brolin's got his M4 back, and Mezzi's into the MP9 now. So just juggling the guns around. Let's see if that affects the CT setup here. Molly extinguished. Space being forced here by Big as they try and work on their T side. Are they going to be in as much trouble as what Fnatic found their default? Just getting pushed and prodded and poked. It was annoying. Yeah, but they've aggressed short to the point where they've called it clear. That's going to get Brolin responsible for long. And he is on an island. Make it, make no mistake, it is just Brolin versus three here. He's got a signature rifle. And the crosshair placement, fantastic for two. Well played out of Brolin. Good to see that he's still got it in him. Now, the bomb is under his nose. I don't know how he's supposed to get anything more done. He's getting hunted from multiple angles. It'd be Ooh, great to bail him. him out. The flash isn't bad. Oh, perfect flash from Giacchino. And it does translate into another for Brolin. He's done it all here, yeah. Brolin. This round's already looking done and dusted. Tizian about to be pushed again. Giacchino has to hit this and will. And one man of Gade standing against the world. He goes down as well. And great stuff there from the Fnatic CT side. So first test passed. And that was a bit of a bonus, right? They even were unable to get close enough to those AKs to get the upgrades here. Brolin did it all on his own. And Jack Inyo finished it off before they could get the goodies. So his crosshair, could, like he didn't have to move a millimeter for that first frag. And the second came nicely on his tuck back in, forcing that other player wide. And Giacchino, two important frags. You know, he couldn't let those slip and he didn't. Strong stuff so far out of him in our second day of play. It's like the three players over towards B just defending with these SMGs. And if the pistols are big, oh, get pushed away from A again, they might just end up directly into their hands. Look at this. The nades have been perfect. Great stuff here from Fnatic. And yeah, Alex, I mean, well, maybe, okay. Maybe a, bit, maybe a bit much. I think he got a little um, lulled in with the fact that he's gone and done that same walk three times and found nothing other than victory. Uh, this time now, it has put a UMP into the hands of Big Clan, should they retrieve it. 
by the nade wars we've got going on here, just targeted positions on the map being... Airstrikes. Yeah, multiple, multiple. You're not expecting a lot out of this round. Now, the kill onto Alex is nice, but this is still going to be very difficult for Big. They've been spotted, they've been pushed. Yeah, this is all for now, unless Tizian's UMP did a whole lot more than that. Wasn't ready for that whatsoever. Now they're just funneled in through Monster. Mm, $600 a kill. Mezzi's happy to pop an extra 1200 Oof. 1500 at the end there. P250. Bada bing, bada bang. And 11 to 9. So that half lead that Big had is quickly disintegrated here. And Mezzi and Crims, no joke, are still holding on to the MP9s. Uh, Crims has 10k. Mezzi has 8.7. They are still exclusively using the SMGs. Okay, Mezzi's just swapped it with Alex, so those two MP9s are still in play, <sighs> but they've given Mezzi a rifle at least. So, uh, look, things are going swimmingly. Tabs really has brought back out this Krieg, so let's see. Is it really still here to play? There's a big gathering of men's towards that monster tunnel. Now, it's interesting they've naded off the door there. Crims wants to actively fight for that. Brolin set up for success. He can support that short aggress if they try it. Now, all the way from underpass with his rifle. This is a pretty fully bought up team. Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't notice initially, but Tabson has pulled out his Krieg. Now that was a big part of his fragging on Dust 2 in the opening day of play. 35 frags from him in well under 30 rounds. And they're walking in. Contact so far. No one. It's just Alex, the early warning system, but there's so many men on the side. Gade's the first to swing in. And yeah, call this one done. Just three frags in quick succession out of Gade. Some great shooting, completely ripped them out of the server. And that's Big Clan's first gun round response after Fnatic not only winning both pistols, but converting four and five rounds respectively off the back of it. And it's left them with a very comfortable lead. Big Clan, however, responding kind. Yeah, really good stuff there. Just had to stroll on in, hit a couple of nice shots. More of a contact style maneuver there from Big. Look how many nades they've still got. Like yeah. that's a demonstration of exactly what you're talking about. Well, they should be able to hold on to all their weaponry as well here. I think that the Fnatic players, Jaquinho and Brolin, are more than happy to stay over towards Playground. Lots of cash in the back pocket here for buyers. You just heard me talking about Mezzi and Crimson's finances. Well, the rest of the team in a very similar position. Now I think we will see rifles come out for everybody. Won't be any more silly MP9s floating on through, but if you've got them and it's working, you can't really fault them. We've been having such a field day. Gay mm. does uh, three lovely, lovely shots. All headshots as well. Cream Cracker on the B site. Ooh, a little bit of Philadelphia on a cracker. Does go down well. Bit of a treat. On toast, it's good Ooh. too. Yeah, I used to put um, cream cheese on like a, the biscuits. What are they called? Not a rich tea. Like a hobnob. Hobnob in Philadelphia. A ho isn't it? A hobnob's not a savory biscuit, is it? It's not savory per se, but it's more like, you know, it's got a savory texture. Okay. It's crunchy and bibbly and bobbly. Okay. But a sweet bit of bit of cheese. It's I'd pretty good. I'd only be having a hobnob with a tea or a coffee. I don't know if I'd be having it with any Philadelphia put a, cheese. Put a thick layer okay. of Philadelphia on your hobnob and let me know what now you think. Now we're living. Well, it's back towards B. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, that is a biscuit brand. Now, Crims is in trouble. A lot of it, actually, because Aquino has to support him. He's lost his teammate now. Would love that divider smoke to slow him down. It looks like Big have called a cancel, but Keto's full committed. He doesn't cancel. And he's in. He's doing it all. Giacchino firing off warning shots, but Big Clan evacuating the site. Surely Fnatic will piece together. It's getting a bit quiet, a bit suspiciously quiet. Is the door open? They're going to have to open it themselves. No, no, never mind. No sound cue required. But still, it kind of would have felt better if they had just regressed towards B. Because of that cut noise, right? Fnatic are immediately thinking they just ran straight towards A. Really, they didn't run anywhere. They were just waiting to see what happened with Keto transitioning for this play. And now, as they transition through the bathrooms, they have two players on top of the site. Brolin in a power position here, tucked in the wedge next to the Optimus. And Jackinho playing a safe line with the AWP from Bank as well. This might fall apart for Big. 25 seconds as well, timer problem. Oh, that smoke's perfect. Yeah, they're screwed. Yeah. As long as Brolin can get one here. 15 seconds, they pause. And it looks like they're just going to try and plant safe in the smoke. If they can deny this, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Call it done. Gaiden sears him to save. They could hunt them down here. After time, it could suck. <laughs> Two seconds looking. left. <laughs> Searson's gotten away. That was a really goofy round.
I don't know how else to label can, that. Could you can you um, help add some perspective as to what Big Clan were thinking? If you have a good game with it again. Why are you in the uh, anti Krieg fan club? It's, it's just not great, is it? It's okay. It's not like when you have the weapon known as the AK-47. Oh yeah. Why do you need a Krieg? You don't really need a Krieg. I mean, yeah. But maybe he's just a hipster. And that, but that's what I'm thinking. Like, so is it because he had a good performance the other day? He's gonna, I'm going to be the guy who's good with the Krieg. That's, that's me. My thing. Those stack nades look good. If you're on barrels, you are a dead man. Unfortunately for Fnatic, everyone lives on. Widely spaced. And I mean, so far, if you think about it, Fnatic, their setups alone have avoided the boost and the stack nades. So they're already up in that respect. And Big Clan spreading out for a bit of a late default. Yeah, they were good late yesterday. This is a must win fight for Tizian against Brolin, or he's just going to rip this default apart. Oh, reactions. Yikes. Completely looking the wrong way. Oh, wow. Still gets it. There's a minute on the clock, and now they still have to deal with Brolin down towards Connected before they can decide if they want to go A or B. This is a hard round for Big to win. And re-aggression out of Chikino as well. This could be perfectly timed, and he was so close to hunting down that Sears. And so many bodies. Good shot. Tabson's down. Chikino with two. He could even find the third here. Searson's posted up. Brolin to hunt. Good find from him. And Gates, the last victim. They know exactly where you are, and they're not going to play this one too aggressive. They don't need to. They've got everything locked down. Even Crims could mantle up and go for a little bit of a hunt. It looks like he will. He'll call it clear. So Gage's return to T-Spawn is going to be predictable. That's fine. They get the max loss bonus. They can all buy, but these T-rounds for big, they're nowhere to be found. Remember, 9-6 on the half. They've only posted one gun round since, or one round since the half, and that's it's good. not looking convincing at all. So this is Fnatic here, really shutting things down. Now, obviously, this is a map that they're picking, so maybe it's the one that went best for them in practice, the one where maybe Alex feels that he can use his pieces or the calling on the T side feels the most comfortable. They're looking good here. Saw a uh, tweet from Hawker yesterday talking about how Mezzi, uh, traditionally the A holder, uh, is now playing the B rotator, which is quite a interesting role to play. You need to be able to support that A defense on some timings. Your utility needs to be on point. You Looks like he wants to change that narrative. Had impact on the pistol rounds. Having impact here as well with that CT side at AWP. But big, they're the ones looking to change the tune of this one. Crawl through connector. Tizian on his lonesome. This time, no Brolin at home. Fnatic have opted for a four-man B lean in case of one of those monster pop plays again. And while that might come later in the round, but for now, Bigger just working their way for this standard A control. Flashes, jumps, smokes, you name it, just to press Fnatic back, and they are already well and truly back. Jackinho is towards the front of sight with that AWP. Brolin, he's had enough of waiting. Oh, good timing on Jaquino's regression here. They found good timings on this a couple times yeah, now. Yeah, they have, and he's, 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 I think the confidence has come from Brolin's arrival. He's now kind of baiting in. Like, if he can take a shot, dream is he gets a kill. That will lull them into trying to avoid that AWP and walk straight on into Brolin. Tab sent across back. And oh, that's the bomb. Big Clan have to recover that. That's going to cost them what little utility they have. And time. Oh, and it's a bad smoke. Yikes from me. D.O. double G. They've got the smoke. And they've just got the bomb. Tizian's bunny hops have found it. And suddenly with the death of Alex, maybe it's game on. Yeah, bouncing straight back towards Crimson's location. Good positioning of the smoke and cancel again. 25. Down through Monster. Bombs on its way through. Calling for Giacchino and Mezzi to support. And Crims just stands to delay. Another great frag. The bomb's 15. on its way. Oh, how does he get two out of that? Crims has done more than enough to think. And yeah, 14 for Fnatic. Okay, so... I know I said Big Clan come into this one as perhaps the favorites in the head-to-head, -head, but Fnatic definitely once again returning with a strong case on their CT side. Yeah, this one's looking very flat for Big's T calling here. And I think that when you have a look at the way Fnatic are using their CT side, they had Brolin aggressive in a previous gun round and it slowed them down. This time they were being more cautious in how they were clearing, right? And making sure they got connected control earlier, but they were passive and they're in a four-man B stack, right? Yeah. And then as soon as that timer, okay guys, it's not gonna be the B hit, let's bolster A. They've managed to get Mezzi over there to watch long, Brolin to help out Jackinho, perfect aggression there to catch them on a timing, and now they're mixing it up with another aggressive move. So this has been very versatile, this CT side. I like the calling, I do. Pretty nice to watch. Oh my god, am I a Fnatic fan now? Well, I think you were just because of the British flag. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
Well, it's a B pop, but it's a retake B setup here. Brolin will be behind them. So all you need to do right now is for now that you can let him in, you can let him plant, try and stall them out, keep your numbers alive, and do as much damage with utility because Brolin's coming on the flank. There's the flank revealed, Searson down, and that bomb should be matched soon. So patience prevails for Crimson Boy. And I mean, Big Clan going to be happy that they got the bomb down. I don't think happy, perhaps, is the word to use considering the state of affairs they're currently in. After a couple of bangers here, Keto. Yeah, and that's one. That was a threat. Crim's not having any of it, though. And that's 15 for Fnatic. Now, this is their map pick, and you're starting to see why. Well ironed out. A nice mix of aggression and info plays. I really saw... I mean, like, don't forget, Big Clan, what, they've tried it all. They've just been deterred by a Giacchino AWP or a Brolin M4. And then you try and go on the B site, Crim says no. It's so far, they haven't found anything that feels like the path of least resistance. No, it has been quite hard here. And I, I think for Big, if they now opt to go back to something B heavy, this is where we'll see Alex call to have multiple members over towards B. It's a really good mix-ups on this CT side. And for me, going into map number two, which is Dust, Two, having Jaquinho in the server is really important. Dust 2 with your AWPA offline is a problem. That's not going to be the case here today. But let's see. Do Big have any more resistance to give? This could be the last round here for them as Fnatic have reached the magical number of 15. And it is just a standard CT setup right now. Alex and Crims are working on short control. Jaquinho towards long. Brolin babysitting the front of bathrooms. And this is a lot of space taken here. Yeah, and this is a dream kill distribution for Fnatic as well in their officials. I mean, looking at that, Mezzi, Giacchino, Brolin. The future. The future, precisely. Crims is going to be your, your pillar of consistency and uh, experience. Popping off with his dirty 30s on occasion. Now, they're walking long, and this is Brolin's responsibility. The flash will get Brolin ready, as well as the sound cues, so he's heard at least two steps. And he just peeks off a flash. That's so brave. It costs him his life. As well as the life of Tabson. Lots of info, though. It is. You can see the reaction out of Fnatic. They start their aggress, and it's even trades across the board. Crims lives on. Tizian walking straight into that AWP, and Fnatic just two frags away here from taking their map pick. Does to loom. Searson to recover. He's got plenty of nades. He's setting something up. Yeah, but, I mean, look at their defense. If you try and go A, I really don't fancy your chances here, boys. Long into A. Mezzi to deny you. That's a good smoke, so, uh, oh, they're not actually using it here. That smoke denies the vision if they were to cross long into sight, but they're walking into this orb. Oh, oh the oh. timing, he didn't even see it. That's oh, all right, Crims has found it. Solved the mystery and knows exactly where you are. Keto, one versus three and immediately makes it 1v2. He'll have just enough time to plant, and this could shape up to be a very threatening round. Will the tilt begin for Fnatic? Giacchino crawling up oh. short. What a nade. He's so that. low. One bullet will do nicely. They're going to spray the smoke. Giacchino's clearing. And there you have it. Fnatic. Take their map pick. Solid stuff. GG's in the chat. And Keita, just another day.